All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rachakwadash, for the Spirit to do this lesson. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the men of the Lord, prophesying, preaching, and teaching on the highways and byways in sincerity and in truth. Shalom, Barakatham. And I'm going to title this lesson, uh, If You're Not of the Elect, the Most High is going to Destroy You. All right, and the reason I came, uh, I wanted to bring that up. That was heavy on my spirit. When I was uh, I was just reading reading through, man, on Ezekiel, the ninth chapter, um, where it speaks about the elect. And when you read the top, I mean, it's not here, but if you read in the, uh, on the online browser, it says a, a vision of uh, <laughs> a vision of destruction, so to speak, roughly paraphrasing that. And the reason that's important, man, because this is about to be a major, major separation coming on the planet Earth. All right. And in and, and a lot of ways, you know, this is this is a culmination of what all of all of the prophecies that our forefathers uh, spoke about, man. You know, this this is one of the last prophecies. All right. Because the furthest prophecy out is, is, the, is the kingdom of heaven. All right. When it goes in uh, what it would be in the kingdom of heaven and we're right on the cusp of that, that new age of Yahweh Shah returning and and uh, and bringing that, that paradise on earth, man, as it should be. But what's gonna happen is a lot of separation is gonna occur, you know? And a lot of Christians will, they'll, they'll tell you that, uh, they'll try to confuse things or confound you in, in the scriptures, making you think that, uh, you know, certain Christians or, or so like a certain heathen can make it if they just believe on Yahweh Shai or the Messiah, or, or if, uh, or if they just believe, you know, <laughs> they'll think that other heathen can make it, and, and that's just not the that's just not the truth, man. You even got different factions of of Israel, people who know that they're Israelites, you know, with different doctrines, you know, and one of the major. Uh, one of the major acts that Yahweh Shah is going to do is, is an act of division, man. All right. And that's basically occurring right now. All right. Because when you read Matthew, you see him dividing family. <laughs> all right. When you read, when you read about uh, Zechariah, when you read Zechariah, you see a two third remnant getting cut off, being separated. All right. And that's and that's one of the main points, man, because one of the major separations is not just going to be, you know, family member against family member, nation against nation. It's going to be a separation of, of who are the true elect of even of Israel. And this is going to prove that the that the elect are of Israel, because Christians will try to tell you that, that the elect can be any nation. And it, and it can't be. They're just confused on the scriptures because. Israel can look like any other nation, but we're not every other nation. We're one nation. All right. And in the in the West, that's the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans for the most part. All right. And then over the rest of the world, we're, we're basically scattered and we can look like basically any nations. But again, one of the major acts that Yahweh Shah is going to do when he returns, one of those is going to be to separate the wheat from the tares. All right. So when it's all said and done, Yahweh Shah is going to reconcile this whole matter of division. All right. And the elect is going to be plucked out of the hands of danger and the two thirds of y'all are going to be left to burn, you know, or reserve for judgment. And I'll read some of that to, to prove it. This is uh, Ezekiel nine. And I'll start at uh, three it says, and the glory of, of the most high of Israel was gone up from the cherub whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called the man cloth with linen, which had the writer's inkhorn by his side. All right. And that man basically represents Yahweh Shai, the, uh, the Messiah. It says, And the Lord Yahweh said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. So that's, that's proof right there. What group of people is he sifting through? All right. This is a sifting process, but it says Jerusalem. Y'all can't go into the New Testament and try to remix things and, and say, oh, oh, it's New Jerusalem or... or or Jerusalem, anybody can be a Jew. Anybody can be of Israel. You know? Y'all are not knowing the scriptures because this is clear who this is talking about. This is the house of Jacob. 
that's who he's shifting through right here. So even and even amongst us, there's going to be a separation. You know, you have the house of David. <laughs> all right. Which represents the elect. And then you have a bunch of uh, uh, niggas. Now, they're going to be restored in the kingdom, but they got to be judged on this side, man. And that's what we're going to read here. It says, and set a mark upon their foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So that's a one key telling characteristic of, of, of who the elect would be. These would be men complaining, sighing and crying. Hating their lives unto death. All right. That's one way you can know, man. Any any guy that's 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 uh that feels any other type of way, you gotta look at that guy sideways, man, because that's not the spirit of the most high. You're supposed to hate this place, man. Yahweh Shai uh said those who try to save his life will lose it. <laughs> but but those that would lose his life for his sake, he will save it. You know? And that's a very, very powerful thing because you know, there's brothers that, that might be doing not too bad in this society, but they still have the spirit of being vexed. They still hate this place, man. You know? And, and, and it doesn't it doesn't matter what their what their status is. They're, when they see wickedness, they feel some type of way about it. That's that's a signifier that you that you could be of the elect. That's what the elect that's the attitude that the elect are gonna have. They're not gonna be okay with these things. When they see you know, Esau trying to push a certain, you know, medical procedure you don't want you to take in your arm. They're not going to try to make good with it. You know, they're not going to say, oh, well, you can you can take it. See, that's that's them trying trying to. Uh, trying to make this society work. They're, they're trying to coexist with with wickedness. All right. And those guys are not to be trusted, man. You know. The, the real, the scriptures say, wisdom, the scriptures say, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. All right? Because when you get that wisdom, your eyes open up to everything around you. You see all the wickedness for what it is, man. Just seeing the Edomite could, could set you off, you know? I had them days, man. Most of the time, I'm cool. You know, I walk by Esau, you know, hey, whatever, how you doing, blah, blah, blah. I work with him. But some days, man, you just can get vexed seeing their ass, man. Because you understand this whole society where this thing is set up, man, it's 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 all wicked. You know? And so what would the elect be doing? We wouldn't be saying it's okay to, to take this guy's medical procedure, the Vanessa. Alright? Any guy that's trying to trying to build like these conscious guys, that's a key indicator that those guys aren't of the elect, most likely because what would the elect be doing? We would be complaining. These guys they're okay with this society as long as they get their piece of it. That's the conscious community. They just want to build. They, they talk about building and building all the time, building communities, build. I just want to build, family. That's you trying to, trying, to, trying to make a way for this place instead of condemning it entirely, man, you know? I'm digressing on that, but you, you get the point. We, we, the, the elect, man, the ones who going to get that mark for salvation, we're going to hate this place, man. We're going to be cursing people out. And what does that look like? Going on the highways and byways. All right. Preaching the gospel, reaching out to the elect and condemning the wicked. Doing videos. All right. It says, verse five, and to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So there's going to be a mark that the Most High is going to set on the elect. The Thawa, when you read it. Thawa. All right. And that, and that represents exemption, basically, <laughs> from, from judgment. All right. And Lord willing, I can be of that number. You know, and I pray to brothers that are, that are faithful, diligent in this thing, you know, are of that number, man. You know. It says, and go, and, and to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after them through the city. In other words, everybody who doesn't have this mark. It says, and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. So what does that mean? If you're not of the elect, the Most High is about to send those shooters, those hunters for your ass, man. Now you see why fearing the Lord is important. Why? Because 
being of the elect isn't up to us. All right. We're at the mercy of the Heavenly Father, and only the elect are going to understand that. They're going to walk with humility. They're not going to have all this pride. They're not going to. They're not going to have this 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 uh this spirit of wanting to be seen, wanting to get views, build up a school, and you know, and 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 get get an audience of women. The elect are not going to be doing that, man. All right. The elect are going to be be be. The elect are going to understand that we're we're going to sparingly be saved, and we're going to do everything we got to do to to make sure we're delivered, man. Because the scriptures say, "Work out your own salvation." All right. Don't don't try to get up under a brother with a with a strong spirit and think that that guy can save you. That that guy can't save you, man. Even if he's of the elect, he can't save you. So we're we're going to walk in fear of the Most High because we understand. You know, as Paul wrote, we're prisoners of hope, you know. <laughs> All right. Now you see why the elect have that attitude, because if you don't have it, man, and the most high sin put that hit on you. That, that's a that's a fearful thing, man, because <laughs> the most high is basically just marks. He's coming for your ass. That's fearful. All right. You pray that the spirit never leaves you, man. You read Psalm 51, you get contrite, you, you lose that that pride. You kick them demons off of you, man. And you do the work to the best of your ability. It says, verse 6, Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. <laughs> All right? So there, there you go, man. This, the Most High is not playing. All right? He don't give a damn if you old. He don't give a damn if you look like Stephen Hawking in a wheelchair. If you not of the elect, the Most High is going to fuck you up. You know, and and that and that's that's putting it lightly, because some of the judgment that's gonna take place, man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be gruesome. For the wickedness that 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 our people have done, man. And this is a righteous thing, why? Because this has to happen before the kingdom can come. The Most High is not letting a bunch of niggas into the kingdom of heaven, period. And you niggas are gonna be a lesson of what not to do right along with your your master Esau. All right. Now in the kingdom, you'll get redeemed because you, you the most high promised Abraham. <laughs> he basically told Abraham, look, no matter how many of your offspring going through Isaac to Jacob or a bunch of niggas, I'm still going to deal with them. I'm still going to give them that promise out of respect to you. <laughs> All right. So the two thirds are going to be in the kingdom and they're going to live. They're going to be they're going to be gods and kings and everything. But. If y'all niggas think y'all getting on them chariots with with with, with a with a blunt and, and some Jordans, you sadly mistaken, man. You gonna have to get judged for being wicked, period. And if you're not of the elect, the most high is gonna fuck you up, and ain't no other way to say it. And if that don't put fear in you, man, then you deserve what's coming to you, man. All right. So it says. Slay utterly the old and young, both maids and little children and women. So he could be a toddler, man. The Most High is sending them, them hitters out there to take them out. He don't give a damn. They are women. They are uh, they are they are elderly. Anything it says, but come near not. But it says, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and that's the elect. All right. It says, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. <laughs> All right. So that's where the sifting is going to start, man. You know. And 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 you you guys, y'all have to do what you have to do because I'm telling you, this thing is wrapping up, man. You know, I can feel it through the spirit. This this there's not much time left in this place. Even heathen can feel it. Even people who are not in the truth, people who got wicked spirits on them, they can they can feel. That that the that the end of this thing is near. They know it in their spirit, man. And for all you Israelites that are that are you what they say settled on their lees, I believe that's in Zephaniah. I might get that actually. That's what's coming to you. And I'm gonna get that real quick, actually. Let me see if verse seven has anything else. And he said unto them, Defile the house and fill the courts with the slain, go ye forth. And they went forth and slew in the city. All right. <laughs> and part of that's going to be Jeremiah 16 and 16. 
where he says he sent for many fishers, and then after he sent for fishers, he's going to send for many hunters. All right? And some of you niggas, I have a special hatred for you, man. And I hope the Most High gives me the spiritual power to be able to deal with you specifically, man. I hope I'm one of those hunters. You know? And you, you feel it more when you know, because Jake is living such beneath his, his potential, man. All right? Here you are. You're, you're the gods of the earth. And, and, and you niggas are, are out here simping for women, rolling up backwoods every day, all day, trying to scam on PPP loans, buying Hellcat. You niggas need to die, man. And I don't care how y'all feel about it. That's 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 in the scriptures, okay? Is that for nine three? I believe it's for nine one. I might have just passed it up. I will search Jerusalem with candles. Yeah, Zephaniah 1 and 12. It says, And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. And that, that imagery lets you know this is going to be a dark time, man. And he's, he's about to search through and sift through this house, man. All right? It says, And punish the men that are settled on their lees that say in their heart, The Most High will not do good, neither will he do evil. <laughs> All right? So it ain't it ain't enough to not be indulging in wickedness. If you just being a lazy nigga, you know you're in this truth, and you just you you straddling the fence. You you kind of comfortable here. You may have a decent job, and 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 you you could you could deal with it either way. If the Most High come back or he don't come back, the Most High is gonna destroy you, man. The scriptures speak about loving the good and hating the evil. It also says. If you are lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth, man. You need to you need to feel some type of way about this society, period. There ain't no, oh, if we can tweak this and we can tweak that. No, man. If you if you if the spirit in you is upright, ultimately you want the righteous to be an authority. Complete authority. Not having the ability to vote. Not not being able to live on a different landmass with autonomy. No, man. Complete rulership. Because this has gone on for 2,000 years of just straight wickedness. And what has what Esau and the heathen done? Completely ran the earth into ruins. All right. So that's basically it on that. Um, I wanted to, uh, to share that. That was heavy uh, on my spirit about the elect because the most time we're getting into a time of division, man. He's, he's about to divide this, this place, man. You know? You better pray like hell you're not of the two-thirds. You know? So with that, hopefully y'all brothers were edified. Call Haloya Hawabashimi Hawashai Bashimra Hakudash Wa Ababa Ball Shalom.